rolling. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I forgot my, my cue there. I was listening for the roll in. I kind of laughed. And then I forgot that I was supposed to say something. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead. Rolling. It's great to be back today on Daily Impact. And I enjoy this time. Love opening the Bible and, and talking with my friends about the Word of God. Love some of the silly games. And uh, some of the would you rather's and and the rankings, it's all good. And you got a game for us today. Here you go. True or false? True or false? Simple. Only only two answers for this one. Uh, so here you go. True. True. Or How false. do I and win I, the game? You win by missing the least. Okay. And we could have the same answer. It's possible. Yeah, oh, so there's possible. definite rights or wrongs yes. here. Oh, okay. Okay. These, okay. these are these are true or all false right. questions. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna start. You know, we're, let's both answer together. Okay. We're both right. going to answer together. All right. The sneeze mm -hmm. is faster than the blink of an eye. The sneeze is faster than the blink I'm of an eye. I'm saying true. Of an eye. I think that's true. <laughs> now it's like, I, are you joining I, him I, I, or are you being controversial? Yeah. Do you want to win? I want to win, and I'm going to say false. The answer is true. Ah! The sneeze is faster than the I, blink. I, yeah, I hear that. Another sneeze question. A sneeze, sneeze is faster than cars on the freeway. I'm saying true. True or false? A sneeze I'm is faster true. than cars on the freeway. I don't know what that means. Faster than cars on the freeway. Yeah, I mean, how fast are the cars on the freeway? They take an average six, speed. Six, six, seven, I'm saying true. You sneeze faster than that? Yeah, I'm saying true. True, it is true. A sneeze yeah. is as fast as 100 miles an hour. Yeah. 100 miles an hour. Yeah, okay. If you're Coleman Wilkerson, then... Here you go. Fingernails grow faster than your hair. True. Fingernails grow faster. True. Than your hair. False. Uh, I'm going false. I'm going true. What is it? It's false. Oh, oh, false. oh, oh, oh no! Fingernails grow faster. <sighs> No, nah. that's a tough one. Yeah, I was it is because really because I was thinking of that Guinness Book of World Records. Have you seen oh, that? Yeah, that's nails all that gnarly yeah, seven years or whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's you have no so life fast. Really, he can't be doing anything with yeah. those hands. He couldn't even drive a car. Yeah, you know, I'd rather have six hands, six fingers, six hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have six hands. My fingers be as long as my legs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Olympic gold medals are actually made of silver. Olympic gold I'm going to let you answer first. Are actually false. made. Because if they're going to make them of something other than gold, why would they make them of silver? Okay, I'm going to say true. Okay. Because I think I've heard something like this before. And isn't, like, if it's all gold, then it's it's pliable. Right? Mm -hmm. So what's the answer? So I said false. Olympic gold medal is made of silver. That's true. Yeah, Ooh, it's true. true. Brother Judah, yeah. were you scared? Were you a little worried there for a second? No. No? You've heard that before? <laughs> I have heard that before. So yeah. are they completely I, made of heard, silver? I've not heard that they're made of silver, but I knew that they weren't 100% gold. Yeah. yeah. Most things aren't. 100% gold is mushy. Right. But it seems like they would make it out of something other than silver, which is also very valuable. But yeah. It's a gold metal, metal, man. It's worth a lot. Metal. I think there's a good layer of gold on there. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of gold. Your right lung is slightly smaller than your left lung. Right lung? Mm -hmm. Smaller? Mm -hmm. Than your left lung. I'll go ahead and answer first. You know, the logical mind says you say true, because why even ask the question okay. if it's not true? But I'm, I'm going to say, yeah, but I want right to say, lung. I want to say false. I'm going to say true. No, I'll say true. Slightly smaller. <laughs> <laughs> where's this question even coming from? Where's this, where's this question false. even coming from? Yeah, if, this, if he gets this, it's tied up, right? Yep. But I feel like, as I've seen the human body, you know, in different places, I, I feel like the lungs are of equal size. Okay. But I'm going to go, based on the question, I'm going to say true. Right lung is slightly smaller than the left lung is false. Okay. 
is false. It's fair. This says the left lung is actually slightly smaller to make room for the heart. See, okay. So I knew that something was small. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. They're not of equal size. Not equal. But, I still, but I still get the point. <laughs> but you were saying they were the same size, though. I was just going off of the to be honest with you. Come I had never on, heard that either lung is smaller. I've never heard that. That's some random stuff. Pigs cannot look up into the sky. Is that true? Is that what their yeah. neck. It's Maybe true. their neck. Unless it's they roll true. over on their back. Huh? Ah, unless they roll over on their back. What's a pig look like looking at the sky? <laughs> That's true. Oh, no. You got another one? What's the uh, score here? You're up one? I mean, I'm just throwing out the... I think we... You're up two. I was just throwing out some random. All right, one more shrimp's, random one. The shrimp's heart is in its head. The shrimp's heart. Is Again, I believe. I believe that. It's one of those where it's like, why ask that question if it's not true? <laughs> so a shrimp, I see like his little heart in his head and all the veins coming off, right? Do they have hearts? Is that the trick? Shrimps don't have hearts. Could this be a curveball? <laughs> You gotta have I'm heart. Saying, I'm saying true. It's Sponges don't have hearts. I'll say false. I'll say it's in its tail. It's true. Right. Heart. <laughs> 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 Giraffes say moo. What? No, <clears throat> that's not true. Come on, man. This is giraffe. No, moo. They're saying that's true. Is that true? I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Pandas wink, which I didn't know. What? No, that's false. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, of all of these, let me tell you the question that has bothered me as much as anything was when you asked about the the giraffe the size of an ant, yeah. or the ant the size of a giraffe. That that has stuck with me. Yeah, there's no value, no value at all in a giraffe the size of an ant. No, because that's not the size of an ant. That, see what you're doing there? There you go. Do it like that. <laughs> and you're telling me that wouldn't be cool to see that? No, you can barely see it. That's what I'm saying. I just to see like a, a hill with a bunch of little giraffes. Okay, right? listen to it this way. If I was going to drive an hour and a half to Brookfield Zoo, mm -hmm. would I drive all that way to see a little tiny giraffe or to see an ant as big as my car. Yeah, yeah. I'm driving to see the ant as big as my car. Because it's, it's a giraffe the size of an ant. So even when we first talked about it, like, oh, you put a little giraffe in your purse if you're a girl, you know. No, you don't. No, you don't. This thing is that big. <laughs> All right. There you go. Hey, you swayed me. You're right. Okay. You're right. Thank you. I, I want to see the giraffe. Right. That's what I'm saying. Couldn't let that one go. Yeah, no, obviously, <laughs> ruining. That's what I, I stand. I stand. Yeah, I stand by my answer. Hmm. Let's right. let's turn to the Bible. Let's turn to Ephesians chapter six, and let's um, let's continue our conversation about spiritual warfare. I enjoyed having Pastor on, mm -hmm. and his conversation about the Word of God. That was a lot of fun, and that was a good time. And of course, he's talked to us about the Bible, and the Bible's importance in our spiritual battle. And now we're gonna to get to the next uh, verse, verse number 18, Ephesians chapter number six. We're wrapping it up here. Mm -hmm. You know, we have outfitted this warrior. He's, he's ready. He, he's got everything now. He's got the mentality. He's got the courage. <laughs> he's got the hope of victory. He's got all the physical protection and all the armor. He's got strength. And so now we're wrapping it up and really the, the last verse in the verses that describe the, the, the warrior and the warfare, it's hard to say it might be the most important, but there's definite significance. Mm -hmm. And it simply says this, verse 18, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. I'm sure in, in daily impacts to come, we'll, we'll break down prayer and we'll break down this verse. You know, because there's a lot said here. We, we can go deeper into this verse. But I don't want to go deeper right now. I just want to say that Jesus addressed prayer in his first sermon. Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5, 6, and 7, he addresses prayer. And if you go to Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 7, he uses the same phrase three times, and he says, when thou prayest, when thou pray, prayest, and when ye pray. 
And so the only thing I want to say today is as much as there is to talk about prayer and as much as there is to say, Jesus never said if you pray. He said when you pray. Mm -hmm. So before we get into the details of our prayer life and the importance of our prayer life and spiritual battle, young people, do you pray? Mm -hmm. What does your prayer life look like? Does it exist? You have not because you ask not. This is an area where everybody comes up short. Every Christian comes up short here. But there's a difference between coming up short and not even playing the game. Yeah. Do you pray? Mm -hmm. And that's what I have for this you one. Know, I, I think a lot of times Christian young people, they, you hear so much about prayer and the importance of prayer, and it's almost like staring at this huge English assignment or school project, and it's like, I, I, I don't even know how to get started. And that, that is the wrong idea about prayer, just so you understand. You don't, you don't have to pray like me. You don't have to pray like Brother Judah. Do you talk to God? Um, and, and God wants to hear from you. I mean, do, do you talk to God? Do you, do you include God in your day? I think it was Charles Spurgeon that said, I don't want to go 15 minutes without a conscious awareness of God. Mm -hmm. uh, just, just aware and just like in all thy ways acknowledge him. You know, do you just acknowledge, acknowledge God? That that is that is part of it. Um, and when Brother Judas says, "Do you pray?" Just understand that God wants to hear from you, and it doesn't have to be a perfect outline again, or like anybody else's prayer. Understand, just pray, just talk to God. My, my uh, the principal here, Doctor Boyd, was such a good man, and I say it often. You you would have loved him, but uh, he would say. I like to get God on the line in the morning, talking about like a telephone call, and then just keep him on the line all day long. And I think that's what it means by praying always. It's, it doesn't need to be a whole lot more complicated than that. Yeah, yeah right along with that, acknowledging you know, a why to praying is we just we need his help. Yeah. We need his help all the day. Prayer that, um, that like spiritual superpower you know, so to speak, that, man, God's on the line and we have the answers, we have the help that we need, and also recognizing that we can't do it on our own. And I've talked here before how I, I like to just just try to grind and try to take matters in my own hands, so to speak, and that prayer is recognizing that I can't, Recon that, recognizing that I need Amen. his help. Amen. Let's end it with this question. You know, we talked about it in our conversation before we you know, went, went live here. Um, would it take you longer to put on the pieces of armor? You know, when you go through it, the helmet, the breastplate, the shield, the, the loins girt about with truth, getting your feet shod, all of that, does, would that take you a longer amount of time? Get everything strapped in, everything secure, everything just right, than the sum total of time that you've spent praying. And there's the disparity, and there's the problem, and there's, there's why we often don't experience victory. Young people, think on that for, for a day. And uh, why don't you, uh, to steal a line from Pastor, if you have a problem with your prayer life, pray about it. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day.